Hello, folks, and uh, if you can't know uh, back here. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I don't know if I'll do reviews this way, like with you know, classic back here. Maybe if like people like the how I have it set up like this, but you know, I tr I wanted to give this movie a chance because I liked the poster. The cool poster that looks like uh, X-Men, you know, Dark Phoenix type stuff, and then even the back. But no! This is a complete letdown of a... <laughs> of a... I get it's a low-budget film, but... The director and writer... If I can get his name... Oh, David Creed, who also wrote this. commentary is not really much to talk about boring but the movie overall it's about it's summertime and pretty much four young women are offered up as a sacrifice to a mysterious pagan goddess who has the ability to sense their greatest fears using this power against them she turns their nightmares into a horrifying reality only not really <laughs> I mean, the movie starts out with a guy... Granted, this movie does have practical effects. Decent, but very... I guess mixed with CGI, but I'm okay with that. But, like, the look... Like, I didn't really care about anybody. Really, because, like... I get it's trying to build up, like, characters at the beginning and then even midway through. Because it, it's kind of a slow burn, but it's... Not really interesting how to do it. Um, but yeah, I couldn't, I mean, you have these four girls, mid-twenties, maybe late-twenties, and pretty much two of them used to date each other, the lead girl and another girl of the group, and then you have another girl who's gothic type of rebel type girl, and then the other one is just like a, a hot, beautiful, uh, She's like a, a selfie addict. Like, all she does is like to take selfies, I guess. Because she's so beautiful, so she has to... And I guess her fear is basically getting old. Which I'm like, uh... Okay. And even when she dies, I wasn't sure how she died. Like Because the, pretty much they... And they're back... Like, the backstory to these... Like, the lead girl... Who the movie is really... I mean, it's revolved around these four girls, but, like, the main chick... Um... I mean... Her whole story... They sort of... I guess this guy named Tyler, apparently he assaulted her. But I guess she knew him. And... I guess he... I don't know if he, I guess he died, or he's in jail, but then, they don't really specify, like, is he alive or dead, I don't believe, and, and then when, you know, when they do the, the whole hallucination thing, when she, they start seeing their fears, and then she's seeing him, and, so I didn't understand, and then he mentions, like, her loser mom, so I don't, they don't, again, they don't really go into character development in this movie i mean they they try to do it where at the end where oh and it seems like this movie's trying to be a a, a feminist type flick where all the men are kind of evil because <laughs> like i mean there's some evil cultist women in this but like the main guy who's like a preacher and then he has like this other guy and then another younger dude pretty much like this movie kind of hates men i guess Kind of, because then the lead girl tries, because at the end she's like, I don't, uh, she's able to face her fear against this Tyler guy. Um, or against this goddess, because, I mean, pretty much this movie is just a waste of time. I mean, it's not really eventful. Even the ending, the ending to this movie is so uneventful. I mean, I'm not trying to be rude, but I get they didn't have really much budget, but I'm like, 
I don't like Midsummer at all, but at least, like, that movie, at least I like a creepy atmosphere to it. This one doesn't. I mean, they get to a, a private place in this little village, and then they start seeing her hallucinations after they go to this celebration thing with the cult people, and... At one point, the one lady, she tries to warn them, and they're like, mm. and then they like, just don't listen to her, really, so I'm like, oh, wow, you're stupid. And then, then they do dumb decisions where literally, like, one character decides, because um, they can't find their two other friends, you realize one of them's missing, and then the other one, when you come back to the house, is missing. And then she's like, oh, uh, maybe it's just a prank, or there has to be a logical explanation for this. Hello! Like, you see a weird guy earlier acting strange and odd. You think nothing, nothing of it. And even the girl, like, the woman tells them, like, the goddess will make them see their fears, and you have to stay together and... Your bond is pretty much what weakens her. And then the one girl who's with the lead girl, to her ex-girlfriend, she's stupid because, like, she's, like, because she's afraid of bugs. She ought to know this is a hallucination. But what does she do? I guess she drank bleach. I want to, because she's, she's so scared, she, pour, she pours it on her arms because she thinks there's bugs in her arms. And then she decides to pour it in her mouth because... Or drink it in her mouth, because, oh, because they, they're falling out of my mouth. Are you sure it's bugs? <laughs> but anyway, but, oh, and we also get a lesbian uh, softcore uh, make uh, love-making scene, I guess, which isn't really hot <laughs> to me. I mean, I, I'm okay with, you know, whoever you date or whatever, but I didn't really care for this whole scene of them just, it's like softcore. <laughs> it was not really interesting. It wasn't really hot. Or sexy at all. Um, I mean, the ending where the lead girl she grabs her ex girlfriend, and puts her in a in a car van, whatever. They drive off out of almost out of the village, I guess. But then they're blocked off. They're cut off by the village people, and then they're blocking their uh, path. And, you know, I would think, like, there was going to be a big showdown, you know, with the, the main preacher guy or the leader guy. No, they just, uh, they literally just stand there. And the Tyler guy is apparently real, but then he's not real. Because then it's a trick we find out again. And then... And they do this, this stupid flashback during when she's getting choked out by this Tyler guy. She like they do the the uh, pinky thing, and then it flashes to the two girls either making out or you know holding each other or having good times. And then it goes to her standing up for herself. I'm not afraid of you. You have no power over me. And then he disappears in a lame way where it's just like she, it cuts to the village people all shocked and then it cuts to her face and then it cuts to the floor or the ground it's like he's not there anymore yeah and then she gets in the vehicle and I would just ran like all these people over, but then they decided to like just scoot out the way for her to just drive off slowly. And I'm like, hello, aren't you trying to, I don't know, I thought your whole deal was to sacrifice these girls to your goddess or whatever. No, you just literally let your, your prey get away. Usually I'm not, you know, I'm not the, the type to cheer for the bad guys in this case. But, you know, it, it would it would help if like your the preacher guy who's, uh, I'm assuming he's the head of this village, or cult, but, no, he just, after everybody, after everybody disperses to his side, he's standing there, 
and then he scoots slowly out the way, and then he, and then she just drives off slowly, and I'm like, and then the movie just ends where it says sacrilege, and I'm like, wow, that was the most uneventful ending to a movie I've ever seen. It's not cool the way it ended. It's not eventful. It, it's anticlimactic, but maybe not even really, because that's not even a climax. Because that didn't really happen. All she did was stood up to a, a hallucination. And then she got in the car, and then she just drives off. And all the village people, at least the people in, in Midsummer, at least they captured and they drugged. Granted, they did drug these p girls, but they had them see stuff. At least uh, in Midsummer, they killed the people. <laughs> themselves these people just stand around and then scoot out the way for them to drive away i'm like wow i don't understand and then she shoot because she shoots like a statue of of the uh, goddess that they and it's not even a cool looking really creepy statue that they made of it but yeah that's how it ends it just ends granted it's not a downbeat ending at least but at the same time i don't really care because like I don't really care about the characters. I mean, and the the opening is kind of lame. It's re really the opening has nothing to do with the rest of the movie, <laughs> to me. Um, I mean, it doesn't really explain it. It doesn't even go into like these people's beliefs or why they believe in the, the, this thing. Oh, because they're sacrificing these girls to this thing. But why? And who is this goddess? You know. And, like, you don't really see the preacher guy throughout the rest of the movie. You see his truck buddy, his, uh, guy with the antlers on his truck on the front that kills one of the girls because she runs into it. Gothic girl. I don't know. This movie, again, it's not scary. I hate to give Midsummer like points because I hate that movie a lot more. But this one is just a lame, almost wannabe Midsummer. But if it was like so low budget and like not, if it had a, at least a happy ending, but at the same time, I don't know because it seemed like that if that girl drank the bleach, you know, and she's, I don't see how long she'll last. I don't know. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this rant. Um, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share. Bye.